Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex, and you're watching the ultimate guide to laser processing on Laser Everything. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to install Lightburn on Mac OS. And to get started, let's just check the version here. This install tutorial is on an Apple M1 Pro, and we're on Tahoe 26.0.1. So we are on the latest version as of recording. And to get started, we're just gonna head down to the taskbar here and click Safari. And we're gonna head over to lightburnsoftware.com. That's the official website for Lightburn software. And once the page loads up here, we're gonna see a button to download a trial. You do get a 30-day trial after absolutely free before you have to pay for licenses and stuff. We'll talk about that later. But for now, download trial will work just fine. And if we scroll down here, we can see we're downloading Lightburn for Mac OS. And this is version 2.0.04, which is again, the latest version as of recording. So we'll go ahead and click download there. Up in the top right corner, we can see our download has run, though we can also see the download here in the downloads folder if we prefer to launch it from there. Once we launch the download, we'll be greeted with our little install window here. We just drag the Lightburn icon over to the Applications folder. And if we open the Applications folder, we can see it right here. So it's installed. That's super easy. When we're done with that, we can close the install window and then eject the image. Super easy. And from there, we are free to launch the application. So we'll go ahead and click Open and Lightburn will launch. We'll be greeted with this window here that asks us to either activate our trial or activate our license. I've previously deactivated a license on this computer, so mine says extend trial, but yours may say activate or begin trial. So we'll go ahead and click extend trial here, and we'll talk about purchasing and activating licenses later. We'll see some notes, and here's our EULA, which you can scroll through and read here, and then we can click accept to move on. And in order to use Lightburn, Burn, you have to have a device profile. If you don't add one, it will ask you if you want to create one or close Lightburn. You can just click here and get a dummy profile, but you can also create one manually. We'll choose this ghost icon here, which just means we're making a new dummy machine. And if you'd like to configure it based on maybe a laser you have coming but don't have access to right now, you have all those options here so you can set it up and start playing with it. From there, you can hit OK and you're in Lightburn. There you go. If we right click the Lightburn icon down here at the bottom. We can click options and then keep in dock so it's always ready to go. We don't need this DMG anymore. We can move that to the trash. And that's it guys. Cleanup is done. You've successfully installed Lightburn 2.0.04 on Mac OS. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you want to support the channel so we can continue making the guide, please head over to masters.lasereverything.net. It's the number one way to support the channel and we really appreciate everybody that's making this project possible. Possible. If you have a different operating system, the install video for Windows is already published, and we'll also be covering installing on Linux as well as installing on virtual machines coming up really soon. If any of those sound like you, there will be an episode for you, but otherwise you should be all set to continue on with the guide. I think that's all I've got for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.